Hello there everyone, Gareth here, and we're delighted to say that not only is today's video sponsored by Just Watch, but if you keep an eye out at the bottom of the screen, they'll be telling you all where you can stream and rent every single movie mentioned in this list. But more on that later. After taking in the wise old suggestions from our What Culture faithful, your humble presenter selected a collection of big screen scenes that have all made a habit out of setting up shop in our brains, whether we like it or not. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com, and here are 10 movie scenes that live rent free in your head. Number 10, he finally said it Avengers Endgame. Completely changing the game when it came to the concept of the event movie. Hot on the heels of the already box office devouring Infinity War, Avengers Endgame provided MCU fans with three hours worth of satisfying and fist-pump worthy beats. And while everything from reliving some of Earth's mightiest heroes' greatest moments during the time heist, to watching Captain America actually wield Mjolnir was incredibly cool to behold. The sight of each and every one of the epic faces who had been snapped away five years earlier, all returning to back up the Avenger leader made for a moment that exploded cinemas the world over. Scored majestically by Alan Silvestri with his rousing Portals theme, a sequence that finally brought just about each and every MCU goody together was epically topped off with the utterance of a phrase that had been teased for what felt like an eternity. One Avengers assemble later, Cap was leading the charge against Thanos' army and the fight of all fights was underway. Don't even pretend that you're not going to go back and watch Steve Rogers' defining moment this very second. Number 9. These Hobbits Bow to No One The Return of the King Long before we had sprawling cinematic universes coming out of our ears, Peter Jackson set out to achieve the unimaginable, finally giving J.R.R. Tolkien's historic The Lord of the Rings trilogy the epic cinematic treatment it undoubtedly deserved. What followed was three consecutive masterpieces, released every year from 2001 onwards, and a ginormous tale of good triumphing over evil that centered around a fellowship all doing their part in destroying the infamous One Ring. But for all those CGI enhanced battles on the Pelennor fields and massive sweeping shots of New Zealand, Jackson never shied away from who the real stars of the show were, that being the four hobbits often at the center of this massive story. And in a beat that is sure to elicit tears of joy and even a knowing smile to your pals upon each and every rewatch. King Aragorn's decree that Frodo, Sam, Pippin and Merry bow to no one is still arguably the series' most quotable utterance, and for good bloody reason. That and a certain wizard not letting a big Balrog get past, of course. Number 8. The Joker has a trick up his sleeve, The Dark Knight In arguably the greatest ever cinematic example of it perhaps not being that wise to judge a book by its cover, a quietly compelling thespian was instantly immortalized on the back of one outing as a certain clown prince of crime. And perhaps more specifically, the moment Heath Ledger's mesmerizing Joker truly arrived in The Dark Knight involved the Australian star performing a little trick for a room full of threatening henchmen and gangsters. Demanding your attention from the get-go with a haunting chuckle from the distance, Ledger's purple-suited menace announced himself with a typically pointed one-liner in the form of, I thought my jokes were bad. Without skipping a beat, a pencil is quickly whipped out by Mr. J before his aim of making it disappear here is fulfilled via slamming a goon's head into the erect piece of stationery. Yep, that'll do it. Short, sweet, and horrifyingly simple, the entire riveting character is epitomized in this one brutal beat. And the first of many memorable Christopher Nolan Joker soundbites was scorched into fans' minds for eternity. Number 7. Bringing a sword to a gunfight Raiders of the Lost Ark In isolation, it's not too difficult to see why the sight of Harrison Ford's quick thinking Indiana Jones, downing a sword wielding foe with savage ease in Raiders of the Lost Ark, sits as one of the most notable deaths in cinema history. As unexpected as it is brilliantly appropriate for the character of the no-nonsense archaeologist, the scene is easily as memorable but for entirely different reasons as the film's stunning opening boulder sequence. However, the behind-the-scenes knowledge of Ford actually suffering from dysentery being the thing that forced this scene into existence only adds more charm to the eventual legendary gunshot. With Ford having to hit the bathroom every 10 minutes or so, Steven Spielberg ultimately decided that instead of spending days trying to nail a high highly intricate whip-slash-sword fighting sequence, the better call would be to just have Indy blast the sucker into next week with his pistol. Ford happily obliged and gifted movie fans with a simply superb shot heard all around the world. Before we continue though, just want to very quickly thank Just Watch for working with us on this video and explain why we like them so damn much. As you've seen at the bottom of the screen, they've shown you where you can stream and rent every single movie in this list, because they're an all-in-one streaming service. No more skipping between all the different services trying to find something you want to watch. They are integrated with all your favorites so you can find anything from one place. Netflix, Amazon, Disney+, Plus, Sky, and dozens upon dozens more, it is one of those things we can't believe didn't exist sooner, and it's absolutely free. 
Yep, a free interface that's available on mobile, tablet, PC, your television, your Fire Stick, pretty much anywhere. And accessible from over 60 countries. That will tell you where, if anywhere, a movie or TV show is for you to watch it. You can download Just Watch for free from the link in the description and see why it has legit changed our lives here at What Culture. But in the meantime, back to the video. Number 6. Ripley tells a xenomorph to do one, aliens. Few moments have almost single-handedly taken a great character into the realms of immortality. In quite the same way, one of the climactic moments of James Cameron's Aliens did when it came to everyone's favourite xenomorph killer, Ellen Ripley. Faced with a terrifying queen xenomorph trapping little Newt and seemingly dooming the child to an unsettling fate, Sigourney Weaver's already badass Ripley arrives to save the day, kitted out in a powered workloader as a shutter dramatically unveils the sci-fi force of nature. If that wasn't epic enough, a line that would soon act as arguably the series' calling card for years to come would quickly cement Ripley as the most formidable of female heroes ever to be beamed onto the big screen at the time. Popping cinemas on every corner of the globe. Get away from her, you bitch. And the euphoric reaction that followed, and has since bubbled up upon each and every rewatch, was the first real sign that Cameron had created one of the most enjoyable and likely greatest sequels ever made. Adding to the legacy of this almighty moment, Weaver also nailed this delivery in just one take too. What a woman. Number 5. Always. The Deathly Hallows Part 2. Very few people working on the Harry Potter features had any real idea where the series was going to end up. However, Alan Rickman acted as the one exception to the rule, with the unmistakable Severus Snape thespian telling J.K. Rowling that he thought he needed to know what happens in order to capture the most sincere and authentic performance of the often antagonistic professor throughout the series. Even when asked by directors why he delivered lines a certain way early on, Rickman would simply Simply answer, I'll tell you later. And sure enough, later would eventually manifest itself in the form of Snape dramatically unveiling his enduring love for Lily Potter, Harry's mother, as the Deathly Hallows Part 2 reached its gripping conclusion. With Snape on the edge of death, his remaining tears reveal to Harry that not only must he die in order to defeat Voldemort, but that Snape had always loved his mother and been acting as something of a protector of his all along. And just like that, a meme for all occasions and new meaning to the word always was unleashed onto our humble world. Number 4. He's Just a Dude, Tropic Thunder It's hard to believe that one half of legendary Iron Man superstar Robert Downey Jr.'s Academy Awards nomination hall was actually all down to a performance that saw him playing an Australian, who also just so happened to be playing a black man throughout the making of a film within a film, you copy? Adding as the moment that perhaps best encapsulated the all-round barminess of the situation, and Kirk Lazarus's method acting role within it, was the sequence that saw RDJ unleash arguably his most iconic utterance to date, behind, you know, the fact that he's that iron guy. As Lazarus's Lincoln Osiris attempts to drag Ben Stiller's Tug Spieben out of a bizarre trance, the actor is asked, who are you? To which he brilliantly responds, I know who I am. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Simple as that, really. Jay Baruchel's bemused reaction acted as the icing on this beat of sheer comedic brilliance, and would go on to become a staple of just about any conversation regarding the admittedly shocking but routinely side-splitting dig at the movie-making world in general. Number 3. Roy Batty's Final Moments Blade Runner Another feature that isn't exactly lacking in groundbreaking occurrences and legendary visuals comes in the form of Ridley Scott's second game-changing slice of sci-fi known as Blade Runner. From introducing us to this once far-off land of 2019, God I feel old, with a stirring synthesized score and jaw-dropping shot of this dystopian Los Angeles, to Deckard's unicorn dream, few films leave as big a lasting imprint on a viewer than this replicant-stuffed adventure. However, when it comes to landing on the moment that fans simply could not shake from their heads once the end credits had rode off into the sunset, no words come close to the ones delivered by the majestic Rutger Hauer's Roy Batty. If the gripping performance itself and poetic dialogue that trickles out of Batty's mouth wasn't impressive enough in its own right, the fact Hauer was said to have improvised one of the most iconic and memorable quotes in all of cinema, that being, all those moments will be lost in time like tears in rain, is enough to produce goosebumps each and every time you hear this force's final moments. Number 2. A T-Rex Breaks Free – Jurassic Park Though many would understand understandably point to Steven Spielberg's first real blockbuster outing in Jaws as the film that sits as his most notable and important film to date. Another of his many mega hits arguably set the bar even higher than that fishy first showing, and has yet to be topped yet in terms of sheer scale, creativity, and lasting impact. I'm talking of course about 1993's initial cinematic discovery of a park entirely occupied by cloned and genetically altered prehistoric creatures, a film that still boasts perhaps the most jaw-dropping introduction of a big screen creature in 
in movie making history. Setting the intense scene with the shaking of a cup of water as a monstrous dinosaur approaches, Jurassic Park's unveiling of its main attraction, a gigantic Tyrannosaurus Rex, was enough to leave adults and children alike all wondering whether Spielberg had actually found a way to replicate John Hammond's insane dino making formula. And the sight of it stalking our heroes in the rain is still hard to shake today. Combining frustratingly unreliable animatronics with groundbreaking CGI, Spielberg gave us another thrilling predator to be utterly afraid of, and once again proved that nobody does edge of your seat and truly immersive blockbuster cinema quite like the unmistakable director. Number 1. What's in the Box? 7. Nothing leaves an audience pondering, unpacking, and endlessly quoting your feature quite like the execution of a deeply unexpected twist. And in David Fincher's entirely enthralling 1995 thriller 7, the director was able to achieve exactly that and then some. But the staggered reveal of Kevin Spacey's John Doe actually managing to find a way to not only murder Brad Pitt's unexpectedly pregnant wife, but also stuff her decapitated head in a box, as the detective has his pistol aimed right at the head of the calculating bad guy, is only the beginning of this rent-free sequence. Pitt's frenzied reaction as he demands to know what's in the box that Morgan Freeman's detective Somerset had just unfortunately inspected would ultimately find new life from there on out, as fans reenacted this emotional and memorable exchange every time a parcel came through their door. Is Pitt slipping into the waters of wrath a touch hammy? Oh, you betcha. But that only adds to the brilliance of this all-timer of a twist ending, with the star's complex digesting of the information he receives becoming a meme in its own right seconds before he blasts Doe's head to smithereens. And that's our list. Know many other movie scenes that live rent-free in your head? Let us know about them in the comment section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you're watching right now is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com, living rent-free in your mind. Thank you for watching this video, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.